and welcome to the Aria Bark podcast hashtag March Knitting Challenge 2024 Day 2. How are we all doing? I hope you're well. I haven't felt the greatest today, I'll be brutally honest. My kidneys are a little bit achy because I've been feeling slightly nauseous. However, I have made some progress on my socks. So this was where you saw it yesterday. This is the full 35 rounds for day one. I did manage to get that completed yesterday, so I'm kind of happy. I am just about to come to the end of the first repeat. Then I have another 15 rounds to go. It's 20 past six. I do think I'm going to get it done. There is every chance it should be done tonight so I'm not overly concerned. I will need to do some maths once I get that done because I will need to check to see at what point my heel goes in. The plan will be for tomorrow to knit the full what's left in my foot. Now I'm just going to check for my foot size it needs to be be 18 centimeters and yeah so we're up to here I don't know to be quite honest I think I might need at least two repeats on the foot I'll see what happens um I may possibly just continue on with the pattern till I hit the 7.2 inches and at that point I was supposed to be recording a podcast tonight chances are I'm going to do it tomorrow because I just feel ugh. so I don't feel the greatest as you can tell holding a conversation is slightly difficult so I think I'll do that tomorrow that way it just gives me the heel to get done Obviously, tonight I am going to sit and watch something. I don't know what. I'll watch something. And just continue working on my sock, obviously. If I can get some of the... If I can get some of the heel done tonight, then fair enough. If not, so be it. Obviously, I'll take... The plan is I need to get to round 17 of the second repeat that's my goal for tonight to get to round 17 what I'll do is I'll take it, take the picture to show that I have completed the 35 rounds but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep it depending on the time obviously um, I'm just going to keep knitting and hopefully get to the point where I can start putting the heel in. I did forget to keep mentioning what this, these socks are. These are the Speckled Space Sock by Amanda Stevens. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. I downloaded this pattern way back in October 2019. And this is me just getting to knit it just now. Yeah, no, fantastic. I think what I might do at some point, possibly not this weekend, it'll probably be next month. I think one weekend I'm going to have to sit down and have a list of all the socks that I have in my life, my, that I've downloaded. To be perfectly honest with you, I'm literally kicking myself that I have never made a pair of these before they are so so pretty and so easy to work up so the dogs are about to get fed so I'm going to leave it here I will knit it back on once I've hit my 35 rounds I do have a rather large cup of lemon and ginger tea. I'm kind of hoping that'll ease my the ache in my kidney a bit. It normally does work. So 
I will speak to you all very shortly. Bye for now. Good morning, lovely peoples. It is day three. I didn't come back home last night um, to finish off. I'll just do day two and three together. So, I have not started knitting on this this morning. However, days one progress, day two's progress. So, I have managed to get the 35 rounds in for day two. I basically just sat watching Marvel movies on the couch with Ryan and slowly drinking myself into hydration. Day two's progress. Now, I've done some sums. Yeah, so this is what I show you. Obviously, I need 70 stitches for my foot. I have 49. So, that leaves me 21 rounds to go to put the heel in so take away the 17 that's left right yeah 17 that leaves me four so i need to finish this chart and do another four rounds on the foot before i start the heel i am going to Put plus H and that will remind me that I need to add the heel in on that round. I'm really, really enjoying the pattern. Obviously there's sections at this point you don't really need to concentrate. You need a wee bit of concentration at this point just so you can make sure. Absolutely loving it. What I've done is I have pulled out stitch markers. All these stitch markers I bought from Denise at Dear Designs. I don't know, I know the marshmallows, I don't think she's got any more of them in the shop. The wee balls, I don't know if she's got any more of them. But she does have some really, really nice stitch markers, like those ones. And, yeah, she does have, it shows us little socks that I came very, very close to buying. So, yeah, that's my progress for today. Now, as I was saying yesterday, because I wasn't feeling great, I haven't recorded the podcast, so obviously I need to do that today. I don't know if I'm going to get both heels in today, whether that's going to be realistic. Um, I do have another 21 rounds to go before I can put the heel in. So we'll see. I may possibly get one heel in. I don't think I'll get both in today. But something is better than nothing. Um, I'm pretty much at the stage now where I can just I think I could possibly get away with doing it over the two days I don't have anything pressing on Monday that I need to do so I might just spend the day knitting on them just to get the other heel finished if I don't get the two of them done and to put in that day's 35 rounds I do need to have these socks finished by, did I say Thursday? Thursday. So I need to be starting week twos on the Friday. Yeah. I don't know if that's going to happen. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Um... So, I am going to go just now. I think I'm going to be back later on. I might possibly be back later on, depending on how... Actually, I won't be back later on. Let's be brutally, brutally honest. Because, obviously, I've started to record the podcast, I've to edit the podcast, I've to edit this. So, the chances that I'm going to be back are probably zero. Apologies for the lack of content. 
for today. I'm feeling a lot better. I do have a slight headache. But I think that's because of the amount of flus that I drank yesterday. So I'm going to take it a little bit easier today. And I'm going to record the podcast. And yeah. Um, I did have a question about how to donate. What I've done is I have shared the link over on the Aria Bark Designs Facebook page. Um, I don't know if I can share it on Instagram. I need to find the Facebook group and add it in there. If I can share it on Instagram, obviously I'll maybe get around and give me a hand for that actually. Um, see if I can get it on. Yeah. Um, thank you very, 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 very much to everybody who has donated so far. It is muchly, muchly appreciated. Ariane Patch have offered for every £25 that's been donated, they will sing a song for you. Now... They do like a particular channel on YouTube, which is all doggy related songs. So they may possibly sing some of them. Patch is always happy when they bring out a song about tennis balls. So yeah, that is the plan. Um, I will see you very, very shortly because I'm about to record the podcast. So I hope you have a very, very crafty afternoon, evening, morning, whenever you watch this. And I will see you back here again soon. Bye!